If you've ever played Minecraft, you know that the deeper you dig, the hotter it gets. There's a source of clean, unlimited energy just below our feet that, unlike its cousins solar and wind, is available 24-7 and doesn't require huge amounts of land. Welcome to the confusing and exciting world of geothermal energy. So if it's so great, why is it less than 1% of the world's energy? Well, it's complicated. In just the last few weeks, The Economist and The New Yorker have declared it's geothermal's time. Why? Because the company Fervo, backed by Google and Shell, has finally debuted what it calls enhanced geothermal systems, which, much like oil and gas, frack and drill into the earth and retrieve the heat. Geothermal used to be constrained only to areas that had naturally occurring fractures in the rock, like the tectonic fault lines that famously power Iceland. But fracking for it and drilling for it? Is that a good idea, even if you're not fracking for oil? Well, fracking can contaminate groundwater and cause earthquakes, even if it's not being used to dig up planet-torching fossil fuels. Geothermal is also much less developed than other technologies technologies like solar and wind. And there's like 80 other caveats that I can't fit into a two minute video about why it's not the best, but you are definitely gonna be hearing about it more for the single reason that it seems to be the Trump administration's least hated source of clean energy. They're actually funding it. So geothermal, what do you think? Boondoggle or the future of energy?